There's a difference between letting go of the past and losing touch with your heritage. Shadika Pillay grew up listening to Indian music and now that she's a Lotus FM host, you can hear just how much she loves the sound of the East. Let's get the rest of the story from Shadika herself. As a presenter of the Hindu magazine show Sunday Sadhana, Shudhika Pillay is a familiar face to many SABC TV viewers. Ethnic attire is a natural choice for Shudhika when she appears as a host on screen and in public, and it offers her an opportunity to express a love of every aspect of Indian culture in a South African context. While Shuddika's professional persona has a high profile, Mela guest reporter Madhushan Singh wanted to learn more about her as an individual. And she suggested that they meet at her favorite local crafting center, where she regularly recharges her creative energy. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm well. This looks amazing. Thank you. Mind if I join the class? Please, Please do. Thanks. Have you always been interested in arts and crafts? Yes, always. This is my downtime. When I want to relax or de-stress, um, this is what I do. Shridika, where do you draw your inspiration from? You know, when we're kids, we have these beautiful, wild imaginations. You know, anything is possible. And we're encouraged to play and draw and be creative. And then we grow up and we become adults and then we're burdened with responsibilities and we forget all those childlike things. And for me, it's really important to maintain some of that because that's really where the beauty of life is captured and where the essence of life is. And I think as children, sadness, being anxious, all those negative things don't affect children because they're so full of happiness and energy. And for me, this allows me to reconnect with that aspect of who I am. Shridika, it is time for your show and uh, I'd really like to see what goes on behind the scenes. Please come join me. With an honours degree in drama, Shudika has made a name for herself as an actor, director and voiceover artist, as well as earning Satma nominations and MTN Radio Awards. Hey, take a seat, I've got to go on air. This is the lunch break on Lotus FM with me, Shridika and Byron. We're keeping you company from 12 until 3 this afternoon. So up next we bring you Give Me More, where you get to dictate the song that you want to hear. It's all about you and what you want to hear more of. Shridika, you've been in this industry for many years. Where did it all begin? I grew up listening to Lotus FM. And as a child, when we would drive past the SABC building, I would always look at it and tell my mom, I will work there one day. Like, I will work there one day. So the day I got my contract and I got my access disc, which basically gives me access to the building, I was, I can't even tell you, <laughs> over the moon. So working here every day, working at Lotus, is really a dream come true for me. And the fact that I get to live my dream every day is just, it makes me really happy. What drives you? I believe that I'm just one representative of the Indian community at large. And I love our roots, I love our culture, I love our traditions. And for me to be able to do what I do every day and share that with everyone and share my experiences of the community and share who I am with everyone else, that's really something that I'm passionate about, of being proud of who we are. What are some of the challenges you faced? It's not an easy industry to get into and it's more difficult to stay in because you've got to be at the top of your game all the time. Every day you've got to come to work and learn and grow. And if you're not, then you're in trouble because there's so much competition on the outside because everybody wants a piece of this pie. Um, and it's not about the fame and it's not about the name and it's not about the glory. It's really what can you offer um, that's of substance and that's of quality. And that's what I try to do. How do you find time for friends, family and yourself? For me, this is not really work. It's not something that's challenging or takes it out of me on, in a day. Um, it's something I really enjoy, which really helps, I think, to maintain the balance because sometimes life does get busy. But as long as you're enjoying what you do, I think it, it makes life a lot easier. Shridika, you've been on theatre, television and radio. How different is your public persona to your real life? They're not very different, actually. If you follow me on social media, you'll see all the things that I'm passionate about are the things that I'm sharing on social media. Because for me, it's about raising awareness and trying to bring awareness to subjects that I feel passionate about. And because they're close to my heart, I feel like I should share them with everyone too. Well, I'm sure after such a busy day, you've worked up quite an appetite. What's your pick-me-up? So you really want to know my secret? It's chocolate. <laughs> But I've still got about half an hour to go on my show. So let me get done here, wait for me, and I've got the perfect place to take you so we can indulge. Cool. 
It's exactly 5 to 3 and it's time for me to love and leave you for today's edition of the show. I am back next week, Monday, for a brand new week of the lunch break. That's between 12 and 3 o'clock. Or you can catch me on Sunday between 10 and 1 o'clock for your requests on Shooting the Breeze. From me, Shardika, for today's edition of the show, it's goodbye. Chocolate may be Shadika's guilty little secret, but a boundless curiosity and appetite for adventure burns off the calories. When she's not behind the microphone, in front of the camera or on stage, you're likely to find her traveling in South Africa and far further abroad, expanding her horizons while also getting to sample an endless variety of cocoa-based delights. Shridika, you have a passion for travel. What is it about traveling to different countries that attracts you? For me, traveling just allows me to explore different cultures, different people, different languages, different cuisines. There's so much to it. And if you think about history and what ancient civilizations have contributed in terms of the world and how far we've come for civilization, uh, why would you not want to be a part of that and explore that and explore what they've left behind? Wow. That looks amazing. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Shridika, why chocolate? Chocolate is always the answer. Who cares what the question is? <laughs> For me, that's what this is. I had so much fun with you today. Arts and Crafts, Lotus FM, and of course, a chocolate dessert. And your prize for this afternoon is this. Thank you. I will take it with both hands. <laughs> <laughs> Madhushan knew that he was in the company of a chocolate connoisseur, and he wondered what her verdict would be. It's a really good chocolate. <laughs>